Hi everyone, welcome back for more. Let's play Professor Layton and the Diabolical Box. We work on getting to freedom. And run into the butler. Found one. Where there are more hint coins to deal with. There's one right there. I believe... Yep. There. Huh. There we go. And unfortunately, now we have to talk to him. Take care that you don't slip, Luke. The floor is polished to an almost blinding shine. Wow, you're right. It's like a mirror. Who do you think does all this polishing? That would be me, sir. Ah, it's a butler! Yes, I most certainly am. I don't mean to be presumptuous, but what are you two doing up at this hour? If you're having trouble falling asleep, I suggest a good strong puzzle to clear and relax the mind. You're not going to try to stop us or anything? Stop you? Young sir, I haven't the foggiest notion what you're talking about. Now, where was I? Ah yes, that puzzle. This hall has been fitted with a hidden door, although to my chagrin I've forgotten where. However, I do recall an old saying that servants used in days past to remember the location of the door. I will now relate to you that saying, and your task, dear guests, will be to decipher the door's location. Which leads us to 136, the hidden door, worth 40 points. Begin from the doors etched in the decor. A path will appear quite strong and clear. Made of stars that flare, each with its own square. These words are said to point the way to the hidden door. Select the hidden door. So let's see here. Well, here's the doors. And we need to go to... And we need to... A path will appear made out of stars that are each in their own square. So let's see, we can... Let's see here. Yep, okay, yep. None of those, none of those. Keep going. That doesn't count. That doesn't count. Oh, that's sharing there. That would be, we don't want sharing. Huh? Too many. Oh, that's an arrow. Looks like that's the only. Looks like the arrow's pointing right to that square. This should do the trick. A true gentleman leaves no puzzle unsolved. That was a nice little puzzle. Not very difficult, though. Masterfully solved, sirs. Now that you've completed that little nightcap, might I suggest returning to your quarters? These old halls can get quite drafty in the dead of night. I'll keep that in mind. Good night to you. <laughs> and to you too. So we are done here. But we're not done in here. Let's see. There's one. And there's two. And over here somewhere. There it is. Number three. And I know we just walked down, but walking back up, we'll, uh, we need to keep walking down. Professor, I think I see way, a way we can get out of here. Our search led us to the castle, and we're on the verge of revealing what killed Dr. Schrader. We must search this place thoroughly before we make our escape. Let's see what else is here. Gee, Professor, I don't know if that's such a good idea. Luke, listen to me. We can't turn back and run. Not now. 
We're so close to uncovering the truth about full sense and the Elysian box. We must press on. Nah. Because at this point, we can't do much else but explore this place. And I do believe that, yep, we should be in the final new area of the game. So enjoy this, because this should be the final three hint coins that I have to pick up. Hello, kitty. There's one. And over here? Yep. Okay, let's over here. Oh, where is it? There it is. <sighs> Thoris, she let me down. Take a look at this picture, Professor. There he is, larger than life. The current master of Herzen Castle. You mean, the guy who just tried to tie us up and drink our blood. Strange. What's strange, Professor? This picture, it shows far too much wear to have been made recently. Yet you saw Anton yourself. The man and his portrait are virtually identical. If he doesn't age, he must really be a vampire. I knew it! We need to be out of here this instant! Perhaps those rumors in the town weren't entirely unfounded. But running about in a panic has never solved anything. Why don't we take a moment to clear our heads with this puzzle about portraits? Are you kidding, Professor? I don't think we really have the time for this right now. I kind of agree with Luke. I mean, it's a vampire. As far as you know. Okay, two brothers have inherited their parents' five-piece art collection. According to the will, the older brother will get a set of paintings worth twice what the younger brother gets. In order to ascertain the value of the paintings, the brothers called an appraiser, who valued the paintings as shown below. For his services, the appraiser was promised the one painting left over after the brothers divided the art according to their parents' wishes. Assuming the individual paintings can't be divided, which one does the appraiser get? Okay, let's see. Well, let's do some quick math here. 80 plus 180, 175. Okay. If I'm not missed, if I'm not messed up on math, let's see. Yeah, that's 100. That's 80. 275k. What am I thinking? So the brothers just need equal numbers, huh? Now well, let's see, what batch can I get? There's one painting left over, so... Which two or which... Is there a combination here that will equal any of the others? Any of the other pairs? Let's see, 20 and 60 is 80? No. 20, 60, and 55? No. What's 20 and 55? 75? No, that won't do anything. Mm -hmm. 20 and 45 is 65. Okay, how about 105? Nope, can't... Oh wait, I can match that, can't I? Can't I? Nope, 115, sorry. That's 115. Would that be 115? Hmm. Let's see. 4095 BE CA. Huh. Oh, wait. <sighs> We're twice. Oh, man. Okay, I'm an idiot. Okay, 2A equals B. Alright. Darn it. That would have been too easy, wouldn't it? If they were equal, that would have been, you know, A and E and B and D. 
Ugh. Okay, let's see here. It's gonna equal twice the amount. Hmm. And there's one painting left over. And this one's so big. Let's leave it out for the moment and see if we can't work out a... See if we can't work out something here. Okay, so that's 80. That would be 180, right? Well, do we have a way to make 120 and 60? We have 60. 45. 120. 120 and 60. Perfect. Which means that the appraiser gets the most power, which means this the appraiser gets the, the best one. At least money-wise. And there we have it. I'm not quite sure that that would be my, that would be my favorite as far as art goes, but it is the most expensive. Nicely answered, Luke. Perhaps it didn't seem like the ideal time for a puzzle, but being able to stand back and think critically in a time of stress and is a skill of utmost importance. I appreciate the sentiment, Professor, but right now solving puzzles is the last thing on my mind. Well, we have kind of done this. And what's she doing here? Let's talk to her. Oh, I do believe that Katya? Oh, why are you two here? I could ask you the same thing. It's dangerous here. There's a vampire living in this castle, you know? Anton? He's no vampire. He's just... Well, I'm quite puzzled, Katya. What do you know about this man? Um... It's not for me to say. Besides, right now you must focus all your efforts on escaping. If you linger here, the madness will grip you before too long. At this? I'm afraid I don't understand. Please be honest with us. What's happening here? Very well. I'll explain everything. But first you must get as far from this castle as possible. Quickly. I know the way out. Follow me. How are you related to this entire situation? Are you? There's no time. You've got to get out of here. I... <gasps> This won't do. People are trying to sleep, you know. Is it you? It can't be. Oh, how I've waited. It's been so unbearably long. Professor, do you know what he's talking about? Not in the slightest. Come closer, my dear sweet Sophia. I've missed you so. <laughs> What's this? <laughs> Very well, then. Is this how it is? I didn't see this coming, Leighton. Not at all. I'm not sure I understand. This is your fault, but you can't have my Sophia. You're going to be very sorry you crossed me. <gasps> <gasps> There's no lack of swords here. Take whichever one you like. Know this, though. Only one of them is real. A true warrior always keeps his blade in hand. <gasps> Puzzle 137. One true sword. Worth 50 points. A true warrior always keeps his blade in hand. These are Anton's last words to Professor Layton before the start of their duel. Can you find the one real sword among Anton's collection? Circle your weapon to draw your weapon of choice. Now well, let's see. We've got a bunch of swords sitting here. But the top line says always keeps blade in hand. So that would, you know, and none of these blades are in hand. However, there's one sword here, this one right there. And the fact that it lets you select it 
kind of means we found the trick to this one. That's the only sword in here that is actually a blade in hand. Consider this puzzle solved. Ha! Huh, wonderful! Yep. I didn't think you had it in you, Mr. Layton. belongs to me. You can't have her. Something strange is happening. I just need to catch my breath. No more! Please, just stop! What's happened to me? Are you all right? Please just stop, Grandfather. Your body can't take it. What did you say? I don't understand. Sophia, dear. You haven't figured it out, have you? You really don't know. Then I guess it's up to me to tell you the truth. I'm your granddaughter, Anton. Don't be ridiculous. Look at me. I'm too young to be anyone's grandfather. But what you see around you isn't real. It's just an illusion created by your own mind. Your youth is part of that illusion. The truth is, well... Allow me, please. The gold mine built by your father, the late Duke Herzen, brought this town much growth and prosperity. But something terrible slept deep within that rich gold deposit. Unbeknownst to the miners, they hit a vein of hallucinogenic gas while digging for gold. The gas made those who breathed it extremely susceptible to mental suggestion of all types. Tales of the nightmarish vision seen in full sense then spread, as did the town's sinister reputation. In truth, neither the full sense we see before us nor its residents really exist. This is all a creation of our minds. How did you figure it all out, Professor? The images of full sense we saw are 50 years old, yet they show a town identical to the full sense of today. No town can remain unchanged for 50 long years. The photos we saw in the train station formed our impression of the full sense we'd see. The full sense of 50 years ago. Enough of this madness. Full sense is real. I'm real. None of it's real, Grandfather. This town is just a thin shadow, an illusion born of greed. You and Sophia? Everything you know changed 50 years ago. Okay. We are now going to get the full description of a few of these mysteries. But, this video's run on long enough, and it's going to run on for another good 15-20 minutes after this. So, I'm going to go ahead and cut it here. When we come back... We will finish out Professor Layton and the Diabolical Box. Until then, take care, folks. See you next time.